She said she has a, he has a problem because his friends came from China and they were escaping without completing their 14 days of self-quarantine. They were running for, to DRC for work. So now we arrested them at the border point in Zombo. They have been brought back. Talk to him. What next after arresting these people? Thank you so much. Right here in Chibuli CID headquarters, I am in the company of security personnel together with the, the, uh, the RDC of Zombo district. As we all know, the government of Uganda has put very clear guidelines for self-mandatory isolation. And we've got a group of uh, nationals from China, the Chinese nationals, who came into the country and they started very well with self-isolation. But along the way, they violated the principles of self-isolation and they were actually intercepted at the border crossing into Congo. That is along Zombo in Goli border. And they have been brought back under the directive of His Excellency the President. And the President gave a directive that these people should be produced in the courts of law because we have very clear policy and the laws of this country put into us consideration the Public Health Act which has been subjected into all this happening into our country and as you can see clearly these nationals have violated the principles that have been put to keep our people safe and away from risk so they will be produced in courts of law at, Naka, at, uh, at uh, here in high court Nakawa high court so that the law takes its course and uh, persecuted according to what will be found. We've had reports that uh, these Chinese nationals uh, were in the camp and of other Ugandans. Why these Ugandans? We've got four Chinese nationals and two Ugandan nationals and they've hired the taxi from the Ugandan nationals, a driver and a wife, who is taking these people all the way from Kampala up to Zombo. And right here they have been brought back. They are, going to keep, they are going to stay in a very safe place. After that, they will be produced to courts of law. This is going to set signal to the people of this country, most especially those who are under mandatory quarantine. The president of this country has made it very clear. This is a war that he is spearheading, and he is really heading it with a tough directive to this country. So anybody who will be found to violate the principles of mandatory, the law is going to deal with it. Kajoingi Andrew is in my name, resident district commissioner Zombo. On the 10th of this month at around, the, uh, I mean on the 20th of this month at around, the, at around 11 a.m., I got a telephone call from my security operatives at the border entry point uh, called Padea in the Zombo district that there were six Chinese who were from Kampala they wanted to to cross to, to Congo uh, given the sensitivity of the coronavirus I told my security operatives to hold the six Chinese and the two uh, Ugandans to give me time to cross check with the migration office in Entebbe and the Ministry of Health Indeed, I started with the migration office. Uh, when they checked the records, they told me these people entered Uganda on the 10th, and they were put on self-quarantine in the Kibuli African Hotel. Self-quarantine should have taken f uh, 14 days, which will elapse after tomorrow. So they will be officially allowed to move on the 25th. But on the 10th day, they violated the 14 days given which was uh, on the 20th they decided to go actually they sneaked out of the uh, area of confinement so on getting this information from immigration I called the Minister of Health uh, particularly Honorable uh, Joyce Mori Kukaduch 
the state minister for primary health care uh, to seek sense of direction. She also uh, consulted further and the directive which came uh, is that this Chinese be brought back to Kampala for violating uh, the Ministry of Health procedure. As I talk about the measures, allow me to thank the security personnel of this country. So far they have demonstrated the ability of being vigilant, being very alert and to ensure that the Ugandans are safe. This is one of the great jobs that they have done to ensure that foreigners who wish to escape before their mandatory days of isolation are intercepted at the border. Congratulations and I give you a big credit and I appeal to all Ugandans, let's be vigilant, let's really watch out and ensure that people who are supposed to be isolated remain and completed their 14 mandatory days of self-isolation or institutional isolation. Now, it is very clear. The directives of the president is very clear and we must follow. It's a must. All border points are going to be closed. And that is that this Chinese be brought back to Kampala for violating uh, the Ministry of Health procedure. As I talk about the measures, allow me to thank the security personnel of this country. So far they have demonstrated the ability of being vigilant, being very alert and to ensure that the Ugandans are safe. This is one of the great jobs that they have done to ensure that foreigners who wish to escape before their mandatory days of isolation are intercepted at the border. Congratulations and I give you a big credit. And I appeal to all Ugandans, let's be vigilant, let's really watch out and ensure that people who are supposed to be isolated remain and completed their 14 mandatory days of self-isolation or institutional isolation. Now, it is very clear. The directives of the president is very clear and we must follow. It's a must. All border points are going to be closed. And there are specific border points that will remain open for cargo trucks. And which cargo trucks? We are going to have only three people, the driver, the, board, the turn boy, and other person. And at those border points, there is going to be healthcare professionals to screen these people. So I want to appeal to our people, let's stick to those directives, stay at home and follow the, the directives of the ministry. Finally, my appeal is for the people who are under mandatory institutional quarantine. Please adhere to the game. It is for a short period of time to protect you, to protect our people, and to protect the country. Let's not escape. If you escape, the law will deal with you. I thank you.